Well, what an exciting way to wrap up the 100th edition of the Ellensburg Rodeo here with a true champion in the making. Heck, he's a champion already. T. Parker put on a show for us in the bull riding today. T, I got to talk about that ride. Pressure was on. You had a couple points to make up. How proud are you of your eight-second effort out there today? Uh, it's real good. Now I ain't got to worry about my mom kicking me out of the house. I did my job. But, I mean, just to go home for a couple days, build my spirit, spirits back and come back and ride like I did, I'd take that over anything, any, any day. You told me a couple nights ago when you saw that you dropped outside the top 15, it was hard on you. You really had to go reset your mind. Safe to say you were well within the top 15 right now. How excited are you, and how much has your confidence soared after your few days here in Ellensburg? Oh, it's boosted. I don't think there's anything right now ever that can stand in my way to stop me again and make me get that sick and just not ride bulls as good as I did. But I'm back. Feeling healthy, real good, and just ready to keep on doing my job. So now that the NFR is a reality, you should unofficially be about seventh or eighth in the world standings right now. I got to bug you for a second. Folks at home didn't get to see this guy's victory lap on TV, but the Bull Spurs, they were a little tough on the victory lap horse today, weren't they? Oh, yes, and I was a little scared of that last curve down there. I don't know if y'all seen it. I was being a cowboy now, but <laughs> these old spurs, I couldn't hang on my legs, so I tried to use my spurs. It wasn't a good idea. Took an extra half a lap around the arena, you know, just for looks. Did that on purpose. Yeah. Okay. But uh, <laughs> don't ride boy riding spares in the victory lap. It'll yes. help you out if you don't. <laughs> Safe to say you'll practice before the NFR because you're hoping for victory laps there too, right? I think I might just walk out of the alley at that time and just throw my hat or something. That was a little scary. <laughs> oh, well, you know, that ride was so fantastic out there today. You're so young in your rodeo career, but you just won a historic rodeo, the 100th Ellensburg Rodeo. Does that make it all the more special for you? Oh, it does. You know, uh, blue jeans and my my mom and my dad, they talked it up real good. They're telling me this is all you need. Just keep on riding like you're doing. My dad, he talks to me, he taught me everything I know, so I'm real thankful for that. But if it wasn't for him, then I honestly don't think I'd be here where I am today. But it was really a great experience being here winning this. Sounds like it's a win for the family. Congratulations, T. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Katie. And that win could have just punched his ticket to the 2023 National Finals Rodeo. What an exciting way to finish out the 100th edition of the Ellensburg Rodeo. I'm Katie Lucas for Jeff Metters. Thank you so much for watching on the Cowboy and Cowgirl channels. Have a great night, everyone, and happy Labor Day.